A developing story in the Bronx. Police are searching for two suspects in a shooting that took the life of a 14 year old boy. The shooting happened over the night in the Fordham Heights section. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook has the latest on the investigation and new video of the shooting. New surveillance video here shows the gunmen police believe are responsible for shooting and killing a 14 year old boy who was walking with his friend Wednesday night at 9 15. You can see the two suspects, both wearing black, walking down Morst Avenue. The two cross the street before shooting the teen. You then see the two suspects fleeing the area while one of them carries a handgun. It's bad, bad, bad. I'm sorry, man, about the kid. We spoke with Carlos Belas, who was a maintenance man at this apartment building, which stands in front of where the shooting happened. Part of the front door shattered, and at least two parked cars have bullet holes in the window. The sidewalk, too disturbing to show as blood still remains. Belas tells me what took place here is horrifying, and he's often worried about his safety. People ask me, how come you're not outside? Yeah, you're not, I got no reason to be outside. Things are bad. It's all over the place. The NYPD says the teenage victim was shot in the torso and was taken to St. Barnabas Hospital where he passed away from his injuries. We're hearing the friend he was with was not shot. It's unclear if the victim and his friend knew the shooters or if it was a random attack. Again, take a good look. These are the people police are looking for who they say stripped the life of a 14-year-old boy just weeks before the holidays. Last seen wearing black clothes and a face mask. In the Fordham Heights section of the Bronx, Elijah Westbrook, CBS2 News.